I'm in NeoVim right now and notice that I don't have any tabs at the top, even though I have five buffers open. You can see that number here. This is something I added. I'll show you how to do it in a minute. The bar that you see at the very top is Tmux and I basically use it to navigate between my different projects. So I'm against using tabs in NeoVim and also in my terminal. If you want to learn why I do this on my terminal, I have a video. I'll leave it on the top right corner. In NeoVim, the reason why I don't have tabs is because it's overwhelming. Sometimes Sometimes I have up to 20 files open and you can see a lot of tabs here at the top of the screen and I find that a little bit distracting. So the way that I navigate buffers in NeoVim is exactly the same way that I navigate sessions in Tmux. I use the lazyvim.org distribution. Normally when you press shift H it's going to take you to the previous tab or shift L is going to take you to the next tab. But I modified those key maps. When I press shift H, this is what happens. Telescope shows up with this view. It is automatically started in normal mode. So I don't have to press escape to go to normal mode. So I can navigate my open buffers going down with J or going up with K. Let me show you how I navigate sessions in Tmux. I'm just going to bring up the session explorer. In my case, I press hyper F then the letter S that brings it up. I can navigate between the sessions by pressing J to go down or K to go up the exact same way. The way that I quit this pane is by pressing the letter Q and I also configure telescope so that I can quit this by pressing the letter Q. Something else that I like about this approach is that I can close buffers really easily by pressing a single letter. The way that I configured it is by pressing the letter D as in delete when I'm on top of a buffer. So let's say that I want to close this kitty.com file. I'm just going to scroll down, press the letter D. If I also want to close this Yabai RC buffer, I'm just going to put on top of it, press the letter D that closes it. To quit out of here, I'm just going to press the letter Q. Now I have only three buffers open. You can see the number here. The nice thing about using telescope buffers is that I can have a preview on the right side. Sometimes you're working with a lot of open buffers and you just need to see which file is which. So this helps a lot. I discovered that I could customize this telescope buffers function just a few days ago. But before using this, I was using an additional plugin, which is called Buff Explorer. I'm going to bring it up right now. I'm just going to quit out of here. I'm going to press shift L that's going to bring up Buff Explorer. And it's pretty similar to the telescope buffers feature. The downside is that you don't have a preview. It behaves the same way. I can navigate down with J or K and I can close buffers with the letter D as well. So if I press the letter D here, that is going to close the buffer. And the way that I quit this plugin is with the letter Q as well. Notice on the top left corner that I have now two buffers open. So for that specific reason, I have decided to uninstall Buff Explorer. And from now on, I'm going to rely specifically on telescope buffers to navigate my files. I'm going to explain to you how I configure this. If you notice the paragraph that I'm on is just a key map. You will be able to see at the top of this file that this is my keymaps.lua file. I just set the keymap for normal mode. So when I press shift H, but I'm in normal mode, this key map is going to be executed. The command that is executed is telescope buffers. You do not need to install anything additional. This already comes with telescope. The sorting mechanism is MRU, which is most recently used. So this is what makes that the most recently used files show at the top of the list. And that's exactly what I want because when you have a lot of buffers open, you're normally working with the same files and I always want them at the top. This other option, sort last use, was already included from Folky's lazyvim.org distro. So I just copied this. But if you want to know what this does, you can bring up the help pages. I'm just going to press letter SH. I'm going to look for telescope here and I open this telescope.mbin file and I'm going to search here for sort last use. So notice here that it sorts the current and last buffer to the top and selects the last use. So I'm going to leave that option. Just going to close out of here. Leader WD. And the two options that you see on the right, I added them. Initial mode, normal. Why did I add this? Because if you don't do it, when you bring it up, you will be in insert mode. So you cannot go up and down your buffers. You will be in insert mode so you can search. So that is something optional. This is the way that I prefer it, but it's up to you. And the theme IV is what telescope look this way. Notice that the most recently used files are at the top and the rest of them show at the bottom. Compared to the traditional view that would be different because the most used files would show up here and the less used ones would show at the top. I prefer this view. It's a matter of taste as well. Up to you. And here's just the description for the key map. The other plugin that I used in the past is Buff Explorer. I don't use this key map anymore 
I just modified it to bring it up with Shift L for the video, but I'm not using the plugin at the moment. If you want to check the configuration for that plugin, let me bring up Telescope. I'm going to look for the plugin pathexplorer.lua. Let me open that real quick. Remember that all of this is in my dot files. They're public and I'm going to leave a link in the video description. But I just modified a few things. Relative path. I don't use the schema, but I added it and that's basically it for Buff Explorer. Something else really important that I modified on the Telescope plugin is that I can close buffers with D and that I can also quit the telescope prompt with the letter Q when I'm in normal mode. How did I do that? Let me bring up my telescope file. It's right here. Here is my configuration. Again, this is in my dot files. But let me scroll down a little bit. Notice here that I'm under defaults and I have these mappings configured. I configure two mappings when in normal mode. The letter D to close buffers it says here delete buffers, but it's just going to close it because I'm used to pressing D delete a buffer. That's not the default. And I also modified this one to close the plugin with the letter Q, as you see here on the left. You will also notice that the command that I'm using when I bring up telescope is telescope frequency. If I press letter FF, you're going to see a number here on the left. So if I search for something, for example, key maps, you're going to see that I have two files. This one has a higher score, so it shows at the top. That is done with an additional plugin. If you want to know how I do that, I have a video as well. You'll be able to find it on the top right corner. Now, let me show you how I configure this number here that gives me an idea of how many buffers I have open. I'm just going to bring up my options that Lua file. And here is the section of the code that does that. It's highlighted on the screen. This is publicly available in my dot file. So you can go and grab this configuration and add it on your options that Lua file. You may not want to load this function that I have here at the top because this just gets the colors that I use from another file. If you want to learn how I created a custom color scheme on NeoVim, the one that you see on the screen is my own color scheme. I have a video. I released that a few days ago. You will also find that video on the top right corner. But if you're not using that, you will want to comment this line and replace the colors that you see here, the variables. This is a variable for a color. Just replace this whole thing with a color. The same thing down here. Replace this with a hex color. So in summary, I don't like having buffers in NeoVim because I don't like seeing a lot of tabs at the top of the screen. If I were using tabs, I would see five different tabs, each one with its name. And personally, for me, that's distracting. Without the tabs on the top, I'm just working on a single file. And if I need to switch to another one, I just bring them up, switch to the file real quick and don't get distracted. I also navigate between the last two buffers that I have open by pressing space space. That is leader space. If I press leader or space, you're going to see here alternate buffer when I hit space again. So I can easily switch between two different files by just pressing space space. If you have tips similar to this, if you navigate your files a different way, please let me know down in the comments because I like to learn new ways of using NeoVim. I like to learn new tips, tricks. So please let me know down below. If you found the video useful, let me a comment down below as well. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.